Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Aces High. I'm back. I'm bringing you guys another wonderful farming simula uh, simulator video. Last time I showed you guys how we can buy a plot. And uh, I showed you what happens if you drive through the plot. As you can see, it just kind of got destroyed. We also picked up our tractor. I love this tractor. It's the third from the last default uh, in-game medium tractor. It's the New Holland. I call it Baby Blue. Uh, just because there are much larger tractors than this. It's a it's a beautiful little tractor, and I really like it. It's pippy, it's peppy, whatever the hell you want to say. Uh, it goes 33 miles an hour, and it can it can pull a decent bit. It's got 313 horsepower on it. All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to cultivate and how to plow your land. You see, there is a difference. There's a cultivator, a plow, and a subsoiler. So, go ahead and hop in the tractor, and we're going to head on over to the store. We could just press back on the controller or open up the store buy menu on uh, your mouse and keyboard, you know, to buy stuff quickly. However, I figure if I'm just across the street from the store, I'm a, I might as well just zip in, you know. So cruise on over here, and we'll look at them. So, like I said, there are three types of things that can kind of tear up your land. There is the plow, the cultivator, and the subsoiler. So if you click on the trailer section here, you'll find all three. What we're going to do is we are going to start with the plow. So a plow. If I'm honest, plows suck. They're slow. They take a lot of power to pull. They absolutely suck. But you need them. You see, after you plant a root vegetable, or sometimes when you first buy a field, it will say needs plowing on the map. If I back out to the map menu, you can actually see it. Over here we have our filters. Press right on the filter, right again, and I'm going to turn on plowing. If you turn off everything else in this menu, you'll see. 30 needs plowing, 28 needs plowing. A couple of them need plowing right now. We, we got lucky, we don't need plowing in 56, so as long as we don't plant root vegetables, we will not need plowing. In fact, we'll never need it. That's one of the things that's changed from Farming Simulator 19 to Farming Simulator 22. All right. So let's open this up. Look at plows again. So plows do a few things. First off, when you pull your plow, they will plow the ground. They will dig deep in. They will get rid of that requires plowing uh, requirement that you have to get that extra yield. And they will prepare your field for the next planting. But, again, I cannot stress this enough. They're offset and they suck. Look how crooked they are. I want everything straight. I absolutely hate plows. So, if you want to get the plow job done, but you, you want one loss, you can go for a subsoiler. So what's the difference between a plow and a subsoiler? It's simple. A subsoiler, let's look at this one, is just like a plow, but it's in a straight line. In fact, it looks better than a plow in every way, except for the only way that you can create new fields is with a plow. So when you're pulling a plow behind your tractor, you can toggle on create new fields, and then wherever you drag your plow can now be planted. You can plant seed there, and it counts as a field, as long as you own that land. So a subsoiler doesn't allow you to do this. However, if you're not trying to create fields, a subsoiler is the way to go, because it's a straight line. It's so much easier to deal with like incredibly easier plus i think it takes less horsepower to pull it you might even be able to go faster i mean in my opinion everything is better about this you just have to have a plow for when you want to draw new land however that's a plow that's a subsoiler but there's one that's even better it's a cultivator you see a cultivator will tear up the land and it will cultivate it however it doesn't create new fields and it doesn't count for plowing. So if your field requires plowing, you can't use a cultivator. But if it doesn't require plowing and you don't need to draw a new field, cultivator is the way to go. You see, if you look at this, the cultivators get incredibly wide. Look at this, 15 meters. Uh, that's, what, three point, somewhere around 50 feet. Right around 50 feet. That's incredible. This thing folds out. Looks like one, two folds out on that side and one, two folds out on that side, possibly, to the point that it's just ridiculously wide. 
why wouldn't you want that? It's only 129,000. When you start making money, that's not that much. However, you do need to look at horsepower. They do take less to pull these than a plow, but they still take a lot. The biggest one here takes 500 horsepower. My tractor only has 313 horsepower, so that's not going to work. We also don't have that big of a field, and we're trying to buy starting stuff. So let's look at this. This one takes 250. It's not bad. What's the difference between these two? Oh, this one's interesting. I can get up to 8 meters. Uh, but it takes 320 to pull it. I think I'd rather go with this and just have 6 meters. Ooh, 7.5 for 250 also. That's an extra 8,000. Is it worth it? Oh, it's much lighter. Look at that. Wow, 8.2 tons. Wow. Okay. Both 9 miles per hour. We're going to go with this guy. So, I'm going to buy a cultivator and I'm going to show you guys how we get it done. What's a good name for my cultivator? Hmm. No, that's, that's, never mind. That's, that's a messed up name. Oh, I got it. How about hashtag cult life with a Y. Got to spell with a Y. Oh, you know what? We gotta spell that with a three. Hashtag cult life. All right, there it is. Oh, it didn't give me a hashtag. Give me a four. It's hashtag. Oh, okay, it is an option. I must have just messed up. Hashtag cult life. I like it. All right, so we're gonna grab that. We're gonna buy it. And back out. Let's hook on up. It should be sitting right here. Yep, there it is. Let's hook up and let's start cultivating our land. We do have a crop growing in there currently. However, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to wait for it. I want to start fresh. So, back up. Press A to hook up on your controller. Or whatever it prompts you on mouse and keyboard. I don't do too much mouse and keyboard. So, unfortunately, I do not know. And, ooh, we do not have much room here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go straight this way first. We're going to do a line to knock it out. So, <laughs> funny, I can just kind of destroy it. You want to line up your cultivator behind it, and then on the controller, you're going to press left bumper and hold it. When you hold left bumper, it gives you a different menu in the top left. Unfold, lower, cultivator. Those are your A and B options. So press A to unfold it. It'll fold it down. I believe this one just folds out once, but some of them that are larger do fold out twice. So keep that in mind. It takes a second. All right, fully fold out. And we're going to lower it so we can cultivate. And then you just kind of start dragging. The cultivator's easy. You don't have to turn it on or anything. Just make sure you hit everything. Let me zoom out for you. And as you can see, it prepares the land. Look at that. Now it is ready to seed. It does need lime, as you can see in the bottom right, but we'll get to that in a future video. All right, so let me go ahead and skip forward, and uh, we'll catch up when I'm done with this, this cultivating. All right, you guys, and here we are on the last row. As you can see, the entire field is bare now. It is fully cultivated. That means it is basically ready for seed. However, if you want to maximize the value of your crops and how much yield you get, you're going to want to do a few extra steps. Uh, make sure you guys sub to the channel and check out my other videos because I'm going to show you every one of those steps. So once you're done, just make sure that you lift the cultivator, hold it back up. That way that it's out of the way. And if you hop out of your trailer right now at this point, it will not continue to fold. It will actually stop right where it is, which is a little bit annoying, but I guess it makes sense, you know. Let that guy fold up. We're going to leave it right here with the tractor. And as you can see, it's fully cultivated. It is ready to go. Hope you guys dug it. Uh, make sure you guys check out my next video. I will be showing you how to fertilize and probably lime in the same video, but we'll see how that goes. Till next time, this is Ace's High. I love y'all. I'm out.